Hey everyone, it's Eric here from My525XL. Just giving you an update today on December 7th. Not going to talk about the Alpha Reef. I think I did that uh, last week, so um, no change there. But what I am going to just quickly go over is the installation that I'm going to do for my UV sterilizer. Um, <clears throat> so I've started the work anyway. It's just been so busy. I haven't had a chance to really get things all done in one shot. So uh, underneath the sump here, I've got my old... My old, my spare uh, M1 vector pump down there, uh, and I've just cranked it up to tubing, put a union here. Probably don't need that there. Well, you can see my automatic water chains go on there. Uh, I put one here anyway, uh, so the tube goes up and through the back wall there into the furnace slash fish room, um, where I'll show you where the UV sterilizer is set up. So this is where I'm setting up the UV sterilizer. Probably bad timing on this video because my automatic water change is happening it's a little loud but anyway I'll try and talk over it I may not even post this I don't know we'll see so this is where I'm gonna set up the uh, UV classic this is a 25 watt unit um, I'm putting it standing upright um, just my preference then I know I'm not gonna get any air trapped in there so it should be decent um, I've got three-quarter inch tubing coming from the uh, the sump down through here and into the intake. It'll come out, same same size tubing, and back through the wall, back down into the sump. So my only concern right now is um, the rate at which I have to pull that water out to go through the UV sterilizer. Uh, I think it's about, I think it's, <coughs> excuse me, depending on what you wanna do, uh, probably 800 gallons per hour maybe. I don't know, I gotta Google it. I think it's eight or 12. Um, not to do eight or 12 so you don't destroy or sterilize everything uh, to an extreme, right? So the slower the flow, more sterilization is gonna happen. So I don't wanna have any adverse effects on the tank. So I've gotta test that out. Um, I am going to put in a flow meter here. Uh, so I've ordered one, uh, the Neptune Apex flow meter right here. So I'm gonna put the module up on the board um, and then I'll be able to regulate or at least see the flow um, somewhat accurately, I guess. And that'll give me a good idea on um, the proper flow rate that I need to do. Uh, I'm just concerned that if my draw from the sump is going to be too fast where the downflow is, because uh, I've put it that pump where the downflow comes right down from the display tank. If I pull it out too quickly uh, and the water's not filling in fast enough, I'm just going to start sucking air. So I'm going to have to try it out. Um, once I get everything hooked up, none of these pipes are glued. I'm just sort of uh, measuring it out. So still not where I want it to be this pipe needs to be shortened a bit but um, <clears throat> once I get it all set up and glued in uh, I'll put the bulb in of course it's not there now uh, but I will run it oh there we go finally turned off uh, I'll run the UV uh, sorry I'll run the pump with the UV lamp off just to see what it looks like from from a flow perspective um, and hopefully I can regulate it enough that I'm not gonna pull too much from that one section of the sump um, to the point where it's sucking air so we'll see how that goes uh, I'll do another video once I'm all set up and uh, let you see the end result but um, so far it looks promising looking forward to getting the sterilizer set up uh, I mean I've uh, I don't know sterilizers are one of the things you could take it or leave it I'm gonna take it just because I've gone through the dyno bit never want to do that again anyway we'll see how the sterilizer works out if it don't like it I'm gonna just pull it down and uh, sell it so we'll see how it goes um, so I think what I got left is just waiting for my flow, flow meter, uh, probably get that tomorrow maybe, and then it's going to cut this off. Uh, if you guys are looking for a great tool, um, one of these things is amazing. So instead of cutting it with a saw, just put your tube in there, keep tamping it down, gives you a nice straight cut piece of cake, and it's effortless in terms of uh, cutting. Anyway, so I'll put the flow meter here. I'll run my pipe back out to the uh, sump in the second section, and um, we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah. So any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know what you think about the flow rate versus the, uh, the rate that the water's coming down the downpipe from the display tank. I, I personally think it's going to be an issue, but uh, I'll find out more once I get that sorted out. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys are staying safe, and happy reefing.